Hi, in this video we're going to show you a free tool you could use to manage your Microsoft Store apps. You could do some uh, pretty neat things with it. So it's called Store Apps Tool. Uh, so once you download it, it's just a zip file, nothing to install. You just run the executable, most likely the 64-bit version, and then it will show you your Microsoft Store apps. And if you click on this, you could open the Applications folder. You could open the Microsoft Store. Uh, desktop context menu options, which we'll do in a second here. Uh, refresh, and then about. Okay, so let's say we right click on Media Player. We have some options here to copy the command, which is the command here. So let's say you want to put it in some kind of startup script. You'll have the command if you need it. You could just copy to the clipboard. Select all, invert selection, don't show it in the list. Add shortcut to startup folder. So if you want to have it start with your computer, you could do that. And then we have the Add to Desktop Context menu. So right there is Media Player. So here is the Context menu name, which you could change. You could change the icon if you want. We'll leave it with the star for now. Use the Shift key to display the Context menu. Then here's the name if you want to change it. And then the command. Okay, so, we're, so we have it selected. We'll click on Install. So that'll use this first slot here. Okay, let's close that off, go to the desktop here. So now if we right click, you have to go show more options for Windows 11, of course, unless you hold down Shift, that is. So now you have our Microsoft Store apps, which you could change the name and the icon, and now we have Media Player right there. So just a quick way to launch it, and then you could add multiple apps to that right click menu for quick access. Okay, then you could also create a shortcut and it'll give you a prompt as to where to put it. Let's say we put it on the desktop. Now we have our shortcut there to open it. You could create a batch file. Let's put this on the desktop too. So if you need to run this in a batch file for some reason, so let's open this with a notepad, see what it looks like. Simple batch file like that. You can create a VBS file, uh, open the location, or just execute the command, which will run it right on the spot here. All right, then up here, we have similar options. So if you want to open the startup folder to see what's in there now, you could do that. Then you have the same options here as if we were to right click on them. Then you have the options for the context menu, which we just saw, always on top. Add Explorer to Commands, and open the configuration file. All right, so as you can see, it's pretty simple. Um, I think one of the best features is to be able to create a right-click context menu items for your favorite apps so you can run them easily. All right, so I will put a link in the description for Store Apps Tool, and you can try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.